Pouring cold water on blue paint that was poured on a middle school's mural depicting images of what many call inclusivity. Thanks for joining us at 530. I'm Ashley Kirkland and I'm Mike Dardis. Plenty of people in Anderson Township are upset tonight after learning artwork created by students suddenly disappeared. WLWT News 5's Todd Dykes has why parents are up in arms. Well, erasing student voices. That's what one Forest Hills School District board member says happened this week at Nagel Middle School. This mural has sparked a new firestorm in Anderson Township. There's a variety of representations in the mural, right? So suicide prevention, awareness, neurodiversity, and, and yes, also the LGBTQ community. And to that I say, so what? Forest Hills School Board member Leslie Rasmussen was incensed to learn this week that the artwork created by students a few years ago on a wall inside Nagel Middle School has been covered by blue paint. Well, I think we're seeing the erasure of student voices in perhaps the most powerful and dramatic fashion. Before it was painted over, the mural had been covered by a banner that reflected a district-wide rebranding effort designed to promote unity, according to Superintendent Larry Hook. The district's sense of unity was rocked a year ago in May when students walked out of class to protest the end of Forest Hills Diversity Day program. When it comes to the mural, another board member, Bob Bibb, said during an election forum in 2021 that his daughter told him what certain images meant. He said they're different sexual identities and she says you're, you're basically you're segregating everybody based on their uh, sexual identity. Many people were quick to respond on social media saying Bibb is out of touch and missing the point. I reached out to Bibb via email today for comment and have not heard back. Nagel's PTO president, Jill Burkett Ragasi, says the decision to plaster the mural with blue paint reflects a growing tension between the district's dedicated teachers and families and people in high level positions of power. These decisions are coming from a board that I don't think reflects the feelings and opinions of most of the parents who have kids in our district. I requested an interview with the Forest Hills School District official today. So far, all that I've received is the statement explaining the rebranding effort that Larry Hook sent to parents a couple of weeks ago before classes started. Reporting in Anderson Township, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. Another